Denied? I'm your oldest son. That means someday I'll be king. And... Uh, my name is Douglas Macker. I am an assistant professor of theater here at the theater department at Southern Connecticut State University. And over my shoulder, we are looking at the partially completed set for the upcoming musical that the theater department here is putting on called Pippin. It's going to be a glorious campaign. And no, those busy goth women. I bring to the table a unique skill set that Southern's theater department didn't have prior to my hiring. Uh, it's the latest theater design field. It's called projection design. It's the art of using projected imagery, video on video screens, and LED walls and curtains. You may have seen these in rock concerts. They're very popular. Um, but it's the, the art of using that in a theatrical setting. Analyses to know how many soldiers he's prepared to lose. Now, this is the plan for tomorrow's skirmish. I'm Olivia O'Connor, and I was a player in Pippin. For me, the biggest challenge with this show was the dancing because it was something I wasn't used to doing in other shows, and it was a lot to learn in a short period of time, but it was fun. My experience performing the play was a lot of fun. This is definitely my favorite ensemble show that I've been in. It's really cool to be able to put yourself in a completely different person's or character's yeah. shoes and work in this sort of story that doesn't exist, obviously. And it's, I think that's the coolest thing about theater because you don't have that opportunity to do that anywhere Real else. Posture. Notice how straight Lewis stands. Oh, yeah, he's a real straight standard. There's no question about that. Ha! Visible! Uh, my name is Patrick Ballard, and I am the stage manager for Pippin. <laughs> Nobody typically knows the amount of work that goes on behind this. For example, for the faculty for this show, they started their design process in May. You know, I've been at this the whole summertime. A great number of people involved with this, uh, from the faculty and staff of the theater department all the way through the student body. We have volunteer students come in from other departments. We have students getting credit for it from the history department. Several of our actors are non-majors. Uh, they audition in from other programs, to, or from other departments, just to be in the show. They get cast, and then next thing you know, they're on stage. So the number of people represented by the set behind me is easily in the triple digits. Uh, what goes into building this? It, a great deal goes into building this. Um, the design process, just for the set that you see behind me, began months ago uh, with meetings between the director and all of the faculty members involved and the staff members involved. Uh, the construction itself has been taking place over the past several weeks, uh, probably all the way back to the beginning of the semester, I do believe. Uh, the paint has been happening simultaneously. The entire show as a whole has basically been coming together for the greater part of, I would say, two to three months. My name is Emma Sweeney, and I'm the paint crew manager for Pippin, which means that I help paint all the sets. So the site beside me is what we've been doing throughout the course of Pippin, and that is just going through all of our paint supplies and making sure that there was no bad paint because that is just very really harmful for the actors on stage and just like the entire um, scenic design in general. So what we've been doing is constantly just going through our supplies, making sure that anything that's bad we can throw out, and by throwing it out is what we're doing right here, and that is using the sawdust to mix it in, and so then you just have dried sawdust and you can throw it away way more easily. I love seeing how the show go from the ground up, and just saying, this show I saw these actors not even knowing lines to now they're dancing, singing, performing a whole story yeah. with lights, costumes, magic. It's just such a wonderful process. This stage of the production is called the Tech Week and actually tonight's our final dress rehearsal. I've received all my uh, light cues, sound cues, spot cues, or any other cues that I need to call. And now it's time for me to finally get the show on the road.